Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Until just a little over 20 years ago, a paper mill in Port St. Joe was the lifeblood of the community. It closed. 500 jobs went with it. Now, three Staten Island ferries are being readied on the old site, and there is new economic hope. It was a blow, as was mentioned earlier. State Representative Jason Schoff ran and won on bringing jobs back. All of my friends, all of my family, everyone either worked at the paper mill or in a job indirectly tied to the paper mill. A lot of jobs uh, went away for Gulf County, and so a lot of people had to, had to move away. All right. Eastern Shipbuilding of Panama City won the contract to build three Staten Island ferries. There's about 200 people here in this site working on these vessels. President Joey Desernia says the site was tailor-made. It has good deep water, uh, a good strong bulkhead, um, no air draft restrictions, which means that we don't have a bridge or anything we need to go under. The first ferry will leave here for New York in about 30 days, the second six months after that, and the third six months after that. Even three-term Gulf County Sheriff Mike Harrison once worked at the mill. You see all the jobs and uh, everything that we're hoping to, to keep here local, it's, it's going to have a huge impact. And after the ferries leave, the company will be building at least four and as many as 15 high-tech Coast Guard cutters, bringing more jobs. Reporting from Gulf County, Florida, I'm Mike Vasilinda.